PR Connections Radio presents... Welcome to Vegas Hockey Hub here on PRConnectionsRadio.com, the voice of new media. I'm your host, Ian Rickelli, and on this edition of Vegas Hockey Hub, we are going to be doing a very, very special video. As it is towards the end of the year, where we've been doing all of this when it comes to the 2023-2024 NHL season. And this is going to be a kind of a new concept, but something that we're doing on this Vegas Hockey Hub YouTube channel and on the major platform we're doing on PR Connections Radio. So what we're going to be doing this concept is a report card for your Vegas Golden Knights. Now, the way this is going to be formatted, the way it's going to be done is as this. We are going to kind of be going over what the season has been for individual players with your Vegas Golden Knights, and they are going to get an A, B, or C when it comes to their report card, how they did with your Vegas Golden Knights. Now, before we get into that, go to PRConnectionsRadio.com, the voice of new media. Check out all the amazing content we have on the network. We have about a dozen shows on this platform, including Vegas Hockey Hub. So go to PRConnectionsRadio.com and check out all the fantastic content we have on the network. We also have our social media platforms as well. So if you are on all major platforms, you can watch at PR Connections or go to our YouTube channel, at Vegas Hockey Hub, where we post and try to upload uh, original content to the YouTube channel as well. And if you want to follow your host, I am right down here at Ian J. Rakelli. So starting out with the report card, I'm actually going to go from the top, and I'm going to talk about the best player we have had on the Vegas Golden Knights this season, talking about someone who deserves an A++++. This is a guy who has ended up having a fantastic season with your Vegas Golden Knights. And of course, I am talking about number 81, Jonathan Marcheseau. Jonathan Marcheseau, what a fantastic year. And you know what? Depending on what happens in a little bit, if he does eventually decide in free agency, if I should stay or if I should go. But regardless of that, What an incredible season for Jonathan Marshall. So racking up a 40-goal season with your Vegas Golden Knights, the first guy to do that since William Carlson in 2017-2018 season. Uh, He did rack up around 25 assists to get him over 65 points on the season for your Vegas Golden Knights. Now, when you really examine Jonathan Marshall and you actually study what he did this season, yeah, you had hot streaks, you had cold streaks, you had all of these and all of that. But more importantly, if you needed a goal score, if you need someone to put the, the light up the lamp and put the puck in the back of the net, Jonathan Marcheseau was that guy. So an A-plus effort deserves an A-plus grade for your Vegas Golden Knights. So giving him at an A would be Jonathan Marcheseau. And I'm really going to be breaking this down line by line, by line, by line. So on the first line, Jonathan Marcheseau getting an A-plus to start out with our report card for the Vegas Golden Knights, the 2023-2024 season. Now, at center, his line mate across from Jonathan Marcheseau would be Jack Eichel. And Jack Eichel, he put up a very respectable season with your Vegas Golden Knights, 29 goals, 34 assists, putting him at a 63-point season. And considering the fact that the guy who was named to the 2024 NHL All-Star Game, the sole representative for your Vegas Golden Knights this past season. But more importantly, when you actually examine and look at what Jack Eichel did, considering the amount of games he missed, considering the injury he suffered against the Boston Bruins in the middle of January, And the fact that he did miss some considerable amount of time, the fact that he was only four points off from Jonathan Marcheseau, who had an amazing season as well, should really tell you the effort Jack Eichel did this season. So Jack Eichel gets an A 
for the 2023-2024 season for his effort and for what he did on the first line for your Vegas Golden Knights. Now, to end out line one, this is going to be a hot take. Okay, there's some people who are going to disagree with this completely. I understand, but this is just my opinion. Your host, Ian Kelly. I am giving Ivan Barbashev a B plus on the year for his second season, his first full season with the Vegas Golden Knights. I will explain, by the way, why I'm giving Barbashev a B plus. It isn't the 18 goals he had this season, even though him having around 20 goals is a good start for the Vegas Golden Knights. It's not the fact that he had 44 points on the season as a first-line winger. But what I'm giving Ivan Barbashev a B-plus for is two categories, dependability and his plus-minus. Ivan Barbashev's dependability, he suited up and he played throughout the entire season. He was on the ice day in and day out, and that is a dependable stat that you have to take account into when it comes to Ivan Barbashev. And when it came to his plus minus, just look at that right there. He had a plus 16 as a winger with the Vegas Golden Knights. So despite the fact that he had 42 penalty minutes on the year, that means that he did drop the gloves and defend his teammates at time. I give Ivan Barbashev a B plus for his first full-time season with the Vegas Golden Knights. As you see the stats right there, 18 goals, 26 assists for 44 points on the year as your first line winger. Now, we see somebody in here who said that we love Eichel, and you know what? I agree. So, when it comes to Jack Eichel, him getting an A, Barbashev getting a B, and Marcia So getting an A as your first line on the forwards for your Vegas Golden Knights. Now, moving over to the second line on the forwards for your Vegas Golden Knights, as we are giving out our report cards for the end of the season with your Vegas Golden Knights organization. We're going to start this out with your captain in Mark Stone, and Mark Stone gets an A for when he was on the ice. Now, we all know that he suffered that injury against Nashville. He was out for the remainder of this situation. We understand that. But if most people realize that Mark Stone, when he was on the ice, he racked up almost 40 assists with the Vegas Golden Knights. In fact, he had, at one point, the most assists out of everybody on the Vegas Golden Knights organization. And that's before he got hurt. I also want to keep this in mind, by the way. Mark Stone hit 50 points on the year, and that was in February. Like, just put that into account real quick. Marcia So and Eichel both had 60 points, but that's playing for an entire season. Mark Stone was at 50 points in the middle of February. Just absolutely incredible what he did. His leadership, his defensive ability, the way he lit up the energy, the way that he has the locker room, he is a captain for a reason. So Mark Stone gets an A for what he did on this season. Regardless of the injury, we all know that was a setback there. But when he was on the ice, 16 goals and over 50 points this season with the Vegas Golden Knights in a shortened season, him being the captain, he gets an A for the 2023-2024 season. This next member was an underrated player and someone who I actually have to give praise to because he stepped up this season, Brett Howden has had a career year with the Vegas Golden Knights organization. This is someone in Brett Howden who a lot of people don't appreciate enough because of his versatility. Brett Howden could be on the second line, could be on the third line. You could option him to the fourth line if you had to. The versatility that Brett Howden showed this season, racking up eight goals and 17 points on the season, He also had around 40 penalty minutes, so he was dropping the gloves as well, a reoccurring theme with the Vegas Golden Knights this year. But based off of his production and what we saw this season, he is really starting to come into his own at this point with the Golden Knights. This is year three of him being on the roster in Vegas. 
So for Brett Howden, he gets a B plus on the report card for the Vegas Golden Knights this season. And I've been pretty positive so far. You know, March or so, A+. Plus. Eichel, he got an A. Barbashev got a B plus. Howden gets a B plus. Our captain, Mark Stone, gets an A. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be my first negative one. And this is Chandler Stevenson. He gets a C on the season. Just because Chandler Stevenson had an average, just basic season when you base it off of what he did last year. You know, Chandler Stevenson, when you compare the last two seasons where he was an all-star with the Vegas Golden Knights, and you compare that to what he did this season, Chandler Stevenson had a step back when it came to production. You could also tell that defensively, he also took a step back. Look at that negative 11, by, by the way. Negative 11 when it comes to Chandler Stevenson. And when you see what Chandler Stevenson did this season, I really have to look at it from an unbiased point of view and just call it what it is. He had an average season, and considering his free agency status in a little bit, it was a question mark as well. And, you know, for anybody who wants to challenge this, by the way, Chandler Stevenson in 2022-2023 racked up 65 points on the season. The year before, he racked up 64 points on the year. So, I don't know, you tell me, when it comes to a guy like Chandler Stevenson, do you sit there and say, you know what, you had about 16 goals this year. That's kind of the average of what you've done as of late. But you did not have as many assists as you did in the past two years. Your point total went down compared to what you did the two years prior. So for Chandler Stevenson, he gets a C because he had really an average year in terms of production on the second line. Now moving over to the Third line in terms of forwards, that would be Dorothea, Cotter, and Carlson. And man, oh man, what a interesting situation this is going to be. I'm going to start out with Pavel Dorothea and with him having his rookie season, him starting really for the first time having an everyday motion with your Golden Knights organization. He had a dozen goals and 20 points on the year. And for that, I will say for Pavel Dorofiev, in his uh, kind of debut and introduction to the Golden Knights to most people, he gets a B on the season. I like his energy. I like his hustle. And he was somebody who also, kind of similar to Brett Howden, would kind of go for the second line, third line, back to the second line, then to the third line again. So Pavel Dorofiev, really solid debut for somebody who was on the top prospects list to begin the season. He gets a B. And Paul Cotter is an interesting take because if you just look at his stats, you would say he's better than a B minus. Seven goals, 24 points, 41 penalty minutes on the year. You know, if you really studied Paul Cotter, though, and you actually examine what he did this year, he gets a B minus because he was very sloppy at the penalty box. He created a very bunch of unnecessary penalties that affected the Golden Knights negatively. But you also remember what he did last year. Seven goals is a lot less than what he did the year before. So his assists went up, but his points, you know, his points went up, good for him, but his goal scoring did not do what they did the year before. So for Paul Cotter, is it a situation where he had unnecessary penalties? He did not do what he had to do in terms of what he did the year before. So unfortunately, I have to go with a B- minus for Paul Cotter on the 2023-2024 season. But I I, I kind of waited for, the, for this guy for last. Okay, I wanted to put him as the best for last on this forward line because if there was anybody – who deserves an A minus? It's got to go to Wild Bill, and that is William Carlson. William Carlson, 27 goals, 28 assists, a whopping 55 points on the year for William Carlson. And also, you have to include the fact that he was a plus 15 and he had 20 penalty minutes on the year. Now, for William Carlson, 
this is kind of a rebound of sorts. Now, this is not the same point, and this is not the same progression and production that he showed the first two years in Vegas. But when you consider what William Carlson did the three years prior, and then you see what he did this year, William Carlson did a fantastic job. He did an amazing job with your Vegas Golden Knights. So William Carlson, he went from having only 14 goals the year prior, and then he scores this many this year. I have to give credit where credit is due. William Carlson gets an A and minus for 2023-2024. Uh, these next two players, they actually played in between the second and third line for majority of this year. But I do have to give them credit, and I am going to be acknowledging them for this season. And the first one I'm doing is a free agent this upcoming year, and that is Michael Amadio. And Michael Amadio gets a C-plus from me. Uh, he had a dozen goals. He had a dozen assists. He had around 25 points this year. Good for him. But he really lacked in certain categories this year. And when you watched him on the ice, Sometimes it felt like he was a ghost at times. Uh, really kind of a lackluster season to Michael Amadio. So unfortunately, I have to give him a C plus. It wasn't terrible for Amadio, but considering his free agent status and what he has done prior in terms of past seasons, it seemed like he was really just an above average player this year for the Vegas Golden Knights. And this guy, I'm not even going to take a minute, by the way, to talk about. We acquired you at the trade deadline, and you had nine points. That was it. You had nine points after being acquired at the trade deadline. So, being honest, Anthony Mantha, you get a C. You were really average for the Golden Knights. And I also have to talk about the fact that you also really didn't seem to mesh well, chemistry-wise, with anybody on any line over those past couple of games that you were in. So, Anthony Mantha, you get a C. Now, the fourth and final line in terms of forwards. I'm going to start this out with the bright spot on the fourth line. Nick Waugh was on the first line for a little bit of time when Jack Eichel got hurt. And man, oh man, did Nick Waugh capitalize and take advantage of that opportunity as Nick Watt had around a dozen goals this year, racked up over 25 assists, and finished the season just a bit below 40 points on the year. These were all career highs for Nick Watt, and he also finished the season with a plus six in terms of plus minus. So yeah, Nick Watt really took advantage of his opportunity this year. He gets a B on his report card for the Vegas Golden Knights organization. Somebody else who gets a B on his report card because this is someone who also took advantage and was durable throughout the year, and that is Keaton Colazar. Six goals and 15 points on the season, and the fact that this guy had around 50 penalty minutes on the year. He did his job. He did what he's supposed to do defensively, and more importantly for Keaton Colazar, you saw throughout the entire season that he was somebody that you could trust on that fourth line. It didn't matter what line combination you did. It didn't matter who you put on that line alongside him. King Colazar did his job with the Vegas Golden Knights. And because of that, he gets a B on his report card for the 2023-2024 season. Uh, King Colazar, I really like what we saw from him. Now, unfortunately, the downer for this year is William Carrier. Uh, William Carrier excused those half a dozen goals because he had about 13 the year prior. But William Carrier, on his final year of his deal, gets a C plus. And all honesty, it's because of his injuries. He was in and out of the lineup for majority of the year. And dependability and durability is the most valuable asset in hockey. And unfortunately for William Carrier, he did miss considerable amount of time. And I also want to point out that King Colazar and Nick Waugh seemed like they really didn't miss a lot of momentum on that fourth line when Carrier was not there. So considering what we know now, considering what we saw this past season, 
Unfortunately, I have to give William Carrier, an original misfit, a C-plus in terms of report cards for this season. And before we move over to the defensive side of things, there are three Silver Knights who played enough games in the NHL this year to deserve a report card grade. I will very quickly go over them. Brendan Bryson, their 2020 first-round pick, he spent limited action and had a limited amount of time with the Vegas Golden Knights organization. But considering about the dozen games he played in the NHL this year, he had a very solid debut two goals and eight points this season with the Henderson Silver Knights as they moved him over to Vegas, and he did his thing here in the NHL. So for Brennan Bryson, he gets a solid B, kind of similar to what I talked about with Dorothea earlier. This was a solid introduction to a first-round pick in Brennan Bryson, so he gets a B on his report card for what he did on the Golden Knights this season. Uh, Giannis Roundbeer gets a B-. minus. He only had limited amount of action, but when he did, it actually was noticeable. You could tell that he actually did show some good, solid upside with the Vegas Golden Knights. And depending on what happens next year, he might be a fringe and a sheller considering what they do in the offseason. And this is going to take two seconds. Gregory Diansenko gets a C+. You played very little amount of games. And it's very hard to judge you, despite that negative three plus minus. It's very hard to judge you, considering you did absolutely little of note in your limited action playing in Vegas. You literally had a cup of coffee. That's what it felt like. So C plus for Diansenko. Now, moving over to the defensive side, as we're doing our report cards for the 2023-2024 NHL season, talking about your Vegas Golden Knights. And on the defensive side, I have to start out with the best defenseman on the Golden Knights this season. And of course, I'm talking about Alex Petrangelo. Alex Petrangelo, he gets an A plus when it comes to the Vegas Golden Knights. Him racking up near 30 assists in this season. He had about 35 points on the year. But when you watched him play, Alex Petrangelo is a game changer. When you watch him play, regardless if it's on the four check, if it's on the back check, regardless if it's blocking shots, regardless if it's standing in front of the goalie and taking pressure off of who insert goaltender here, Alex Trangelo did his job this season when it came to Vegas. So an A plus for Alex Trangelo, he actually had the best season out of all the defensemen that are on the Golden Knights organization. Well, well, solid effort by Alex Trangelo this past season. Uh, Noah Hannafin, he only played a select amount of games after being acquired at the trade deadline, but what an insane amount of games did Noah Hannafin play? In only a limited amount of action on the first line, Noah Hannafin, two goals and eight points with a plus six, by the way, and you could tell when watching him and Petrangelo that Hannafin's going to fit in very nicely on the first defensive pairing with your Vegas Golden Knights. The energy was there, the confidence was there, and the chemistry was just starting to get gelled with Petrangelo. Watch out for Hannafin and Petrangelo next year. All right, next year, 2024, 2025, watch out because Hannafin and Petrangelo are going to be your first defensive pairings. They're going to be fun to watch. And getting to the comments real quick. Okay, so you had a Matteo at a B. Okay, well, like I said, I have him at a C plus considering what he's done in the past. But if you want to give him a B, that's your perspective. I understand that. Dorothea, a B plus. You know what? That's fair. As long as you give him a B or B plus, I will respect that. Considering his solid rookie season, he did what he had to do for sure. And then Petrangelo at A plus. That's exactly what I'm saying here on Vegas Hockey Hub. Alex Trangelo had an amazing season with your Vegas Golden Knights. Now, the veteran defenseman who might be on his way out, considering what happens this offseason, Alec Martinez gets a B for his report card. And the reason why is not what he did offensively, 17 points this year, four of them being goals, but it's his defense. 
His shot blocking is still among the best in hockey. His veteran leadership is noticeable when he's on the ice. And because of that, because of what he does on a defensive standpoint, I give Martinez a B for the 2023-2024 season. So as we kind of move away from the first defensive pairing, let's kick it over to the second defensive pairing and talk about my favorite player on the Vegas Golden Knights, Braden McNabb. And my, oh my, what an incredible season Braden McNabb had. He had 25 points on the year and was one of the best shot blockers in all of hockey, blocking, I think, the second most shots out of any player in the NHL this season. He also had a whopping plus 17, plus minus. And look at those penalty minutes, by the way. To say that he did defend his teammates would be an understatement. So for Nabber, he gets a B, a B plus here on Vegas Hockey Hub. A well-rounded, solid season for Braden McNabb. This is someone who, by the way, does not miss games for your Golden Knights. So the dependability was also there as well. And this is going to be a hot take, but hear me out real quick. Shea Theodore gets a B. Offensively, he gets an A+. Okay? Offensively, you had about 40 points on defense. Okay? You are an A+, on that end. But defensively, you get a C-. minus. You turn over the puck so much in the neutral zone. You create so many mistakes in the defensive zone. It's not even funny. Okay? So because you get an A plus offensively and a C minus defensively, I say meet in the middle. I give you a B in terms of Shea Theodore. Now, these remaining defensemen, Caden Korzak gets an A minus for his limited action inside a limited amount of time, nine points and a plus 12 with the Vegas Golden Knights. You can see that Korzak and McNabb did develop some chemistry on the second line while Shea Theodore was out this season. So the young King Korzak, he gets an A minus, really stand up job. One of the best young guys the Golden Knights have on the roster right now. Zach Whitecloud, he gets a B plus. Now, offensively, he did not do what I expected him to do, but defensively, he was on par to be one of the best defensive players on the Golden Knights organization. So B plus for Zach Whitecloud and his line mate, Nick Haig, gets a B minus. Uh, once again, defensively, one of a very solid few on the Golden Knights organization. Unfortunately, offensively did not contribute as much as you probably expected him to, but a B minus for Nick Haig. And then the last defenseman, a.k.a. the seventh defenseman the Golden Knights had this year is Ben Hutton. And he gets a B plus for his limited action, him being the replacement role in the Golden Knights organization. He did what he had to do defensively, and I respect that. So I get a B plus for Ben Hutton, two goals and 10 points alongside a plus nine this year with the Golden Knights organization. And since we have about two minutes left here on the show, I will quickly go over the goaltending. Do, do, do I really have to say anything else? Can I just let the stat sheet read for itself? An A-plus for LT. Logan Thompson was your regular season MVP. He bailed you out of so many, uh, so many problems this year. Logan Thompson, he gets an A-plus for what he did this year. Incredible job by Logan Thompson. I like what we saw from him this year. Unfortunately, for Aiden Hill, he will get a B on the season. Uh, unfortunately, the injuries just really took a toll on Aiden Hill this year. But despite the 18 wins and 10 losses and two overtime losses, I really have to kind of put the injuries into perspective. And the fact that he did miss a considerable amount of time, that does knock him down just a little bit. So a B is what Aiden Hill will get on that end. And then the last player on our report card is the Henderson Silver Knights goalie turned Vegas Gold Knights goaltender, and that is Yuri Patera. And he gets a B considering the circumstances. Considering the injuries to Aiden Hill and considering what he had to do in relief back in December and January, 
he had a stellar six-game stint with your Vegas Golden Knights. So therefore, he gets a solid B on the season with Yuri Patera. Now, this was our Vegas Golden Knights 2023-2024 report card. I'm your host, Ian Rakelli. We have a bunch of brand new content that's going to be in the works right now. We'll be uploading that throughout the next couple of days. So until next time, continue watching hockey, go support junior hockey, and go 